All right, sorry, slightly interrupted there. Um, returning to our studs, it was on the next page. I was on page 43, and we are moving over to, or page 42, and moving over to 43. So what we're looking at in studs is per square foot of wall area, and we are looking at 2 by 4 studs, and we know that we are 16 inches on center. And what we're looking at, again, is a square foot cost for the exterior of the building, and we're looking at 75 cents per square foot for that labor price. So you should have these square foot numbers because we've already figured them out for the sheathing. So you should be able hopefully to return back to your square foot for your sheathing. However, this time we want to make sure that we do not include the gable end, the triangular gables for the roof because those are not part of our wall framing. Those are going to be separate trusses. We'll talk about those in a little bit. But those pieces of truss are going to be separate, and we don't include those. So we're just simply looking at the square foot area of the walls. And we're not going to remove the door on this case because we do still have to frame that piece of wall with the header and the cripples in it, even though there's a gigantic hole. So when we go back to our tally sheet, framing studs is going to be the square foot number which is you can come back up to your sheathing number that we've determined to figure out the number of sheets of OSB and that number then can simply be used and we will put in our 75 cents for the unit charge and add that over to the labor. <laughs> 